Hi, all right, so today is Tuesday, April 30th. Um, yesterday was my older brother's birthday, so happy birthday, JT. Just wanted to give a shout out to you. Um, I also just wanted to share with you guys uh, another update on my project because the other day I received this in the mail. Um, I created a book selection of pretty much the first eight participants, selections from the first eight participants in my disposable camera project and formatted them into a book form so that when I make my senior thesis exhibition in about a week and a half, or I'm installing it next week and it goes, it goes up in the museum here in about a week and a half, and I originally was going to print out the disposable camera images and the writings um, and put them on the wall, but I decided that like having something more tangible for this exhibition would be a really great idea. So I got permission from these eight guys, which one of them is me, so that was easy, but I got permission with them um, for like just a selection, you know, not showing their entire 27 exposures, but a selection to be in here. So I created this on Adobe InDesign through Blurb. Um, that was a pretty fun technological adventure for me. And uh, hardcover, 53 pages, pretty exciting. I got an introduction, which is um, vastly similar to the About This Project on the website. And so all these selections, all these images are visible on the website, um, and I got permission from the guys, it's okay, that's in tangible book form. So we've got Jay is in here, he's a lovely guy, lovely guy, and he's got quite a few pages, and we've got Aiden, um, also a really, really great guy. I'm just going to say that about all of them, I need to come up with a new adjective. All right. Then we've got Taylor, I really love Taylor's honesty in his, um, in his imagery and his writing. Um, definitely check him out on the website. We've got Kato, who is really, really sweet dude. Um, really excited, excited that I've gotten to know him. Um, Riley, who is doing really extraordinary things. So um, I don't know. You might hear me talk a bit about some projects he's working on in the future because he's got he's got some really cool things, uh, cool ideas going on. He's starting up. Um, here's me. I put <laughs> put a little bit of me in there. Figured it would show folks that I relate with the community, obviously. Um, we've got Kieran, and he, I'm really, really glad that I've gotten to meet Kieran because we've had such amazing conversations. Um, and we've got Eli, who um, is, do, is right now composing an anthology from trans and um, queer folks of stories for, um, for, to fundraise um, for top surgeries and is going to publish them in an ebook. So I'll give you some more information about that. I actually put it on my Facebook the other day. So the really cool thing about getting this book was just seeing these images and the writings just come to life, being able to hold them in my hand. Um, although I was able to hold them in my hand when I got them, just being able to hold a little bit of each guy's story and a little bit of each guy's day-to-day -day life. And, um, it really has just meant, this project has meant so much more to me than I ever anticipated. Um, I don't know if you guys know if I've really talked about this, but it originated with um, me traveling around and taking portraits of, um, of some of my friends. So I would take portraits of my trans masculine identified friends and have them write a little bit about their identities. And so after starting that early in this semester, I then decided I wanted to be able to reach out to more people. This is one of my favorite portraits I took. Um, everyone's reacted really, really positively because, I mean, adorable. <laughs> and um, so I really wanted to expand the project and use my outreach that I have and be able to get a wide range of folks, not just friends of friends, um, who typically were all around the same age as me. Got two more over here. Um, so the Disposable Care Project has allowed me to just have these amazing conversations and connect with others. It's been really extraordinary and I think that I would have never expected such, um, just such power and honesty and beauty to come out of just this like little idea. I thought I was like, oh, maybe this, this would be kind of interesting. And just for, you know, the website is just looking, it's looking great and I've got more cameras than I even know what to do with right now. I've got a, uh, Lots more to go develop, um, which I'll get to. I've just been busy installing my exhibition. So yeah, so to give a little, that's just a little backstory on why I expanded it to this disposable camera project. But even when I was just photographing um, friends and acquaintances, like I made new friends. And it's just, and just being able to share stories and just, you know, hang out, whether it's um, via like a Facebook group or um, via like in person. We just, you know, met up in person, spent the day together. And so, 
just so you guys know, there's going to be five of these framed. Um, I'm getting them professionally framed for my show, and then I've got a corner space, like a small little 36 inch uh, wall as a corner, where I'm going to have a shelf with this book on it, so that people can just flip through it and just see more of people's stories. And I think it's going to be something really necessary for my community and also just really, really cool for um, the studio art majors and people who come to the exhibition to really see this work having evolved. So I'm really proud with how this has come along and all the guys in this book have given me permission to release it publicly. So I'm going to release um, copies of it in hardcover, they're going to look just like this. I might just clarify on the spine that it's just selections from spring of 2013. Um, I'm also going to release it in soft cover just for price difference and preference for folks. So uh, put the links to that below so you guys can check it out. I understand they are kind of expensive. Um, that's what self-publishing will do. I wish that they could, I wish I could just give them out. Um, unfortunately, they're pretty pricey, but I tried to make them as cheap as possible. So I hope that that works out for you guys. I'm not planning on making any profit on it. I'm not sure if there's automatically some profit through Blurb. I'm unsure about that. But if there is, all that money is just going to go to sponsor more cameras because I really, really want to continue this project at least through the summer, if not through um, the rest of this year. So it's kind of on hold right now for accepting submissions, but um, they let me, they all let me uh, release this and I think it's going to look really, really good. Um, so if you want a copy, definitely feel free to check it out. Um, but just know that I also plan to release like a wider selection in the future and hopefully through a publisher so that it could be more reasonable. So if you don't feel like you could afford this or want this right now, just know like they're hopefully, fingers crossed, my plan is for there to be a bigger selection in the future that will encompass more um, from each participant as well as more participants in general. I just wanted to be able to share this with you guys and yeah, I'm really excited. I'm excited to install it and see how it looks and expect to see some photos of that. So um, I hope everyone's doing well and have a great day. Peace.